Thank you. Okay. My name is Greg Angelo, and I'm a whirling dervish. Now, the clip you just saw is of me performing that dervish for Cirque du Soleil a few years back. Now, traditionally, whirling dervish are men that are part of these mystic brotherhoods, and they perform this ritual in cloistered situations, and they're really imitating the, the whirling of the cosmos. Now, my version isn't that much farther for it, but I've added a little spectacle, a little showmanship to it, and I bring it to a secular audience, because I believe we're really all part of this universe that it tells a story of. Now, did you know that everything, everything in the universe is spinning from tiny subatomic particles that make up your cells and your atoms that make up all matter, that make up our extraordinary spiraling circulatory system, that make up the planets, the stars, the solar system, the galaxies, and the universe itself. So by realizing that everything is whirling from the micro to the macro, we realize that's the world that we're all part of. Now, it's the first story that has ever been told, and it will be the last. Now, meanwhile, back on Earth, we are just consumed with the greedy obsession of attaining wealth and fame and, and the unattainable journey to the fountain of youth and strange notions of beauty. We've even gone so far as to take the most intimate of self-expression, such as song and dance, and turn it into these vicious battles that we all watch and applaud on television. And it, it really strips our soul and, and, and makes our, our own unique selves become this sort of a sport. Now, the good news is, is that if you stand back and look through that status quo, you'll realize the world is still spiraling around us and that the true wealth is in each and every one of us. Now, when I was a young man developing the whirling dervish, like I was probably 13 or 14 years old, I worked really hard. I, I found myself touring all over the world. And before I knew it, other artists started gravitating towards me, asking me, how are you making a living doing what you love? Well, I wasn't quite sure, so I started mentoring these artists, and we started developing new acts, and then we ended up forming our own company that we called Velocity Circus. And together, we started creating works out of nothing and, and sort of creating a demand for our own services. Here we are working on in our studio where we work every day creating things. Here we are getting ready for a show backstage and in full bloom on stage at one of our numerous shows. Now, what I've noticed is that many, many artists take this strange approach to the arts where they're just fighting for a tiny slice of the pie, whether it be for going for grant money that may or may not happen or going through an opportunity that may or may not happen. Now, while they're doing that, we keep baking pies, new pies, new pies of new flavors, creating so many works that most people can't even really identify what they are unless they're living in the experience of the moment. We keep appealing to larger and larger audiences. And really, the only secret to that is that we did it through pure collaboration without any competition at all. Now, soon we found ourselves sort of more on the international market, collaborating with other companies, which has been really joyful. This image is of uh, a painting by a, an artist from India named Raghava. He took a great risk in collaborating with us, so he actually painted right on top of his painting. And together, we created something quite spectacular. Now, he's gone on to collaborate with a lot of other artists in his community as well. So we were now a full-fledged arts and entertainment company with all the circus elements sort of as a, you know, peppered through there as a continuous ingredient in it all. We're still bringing sort of these very precious moments to audiences all over the world. We've be become in demand at, at museums for cultural experiences that we bring to people. And then museums actually started commissioning us as a team to create full-blown interactive arts installations that were built in tandem with their major exhibitions and throughout the world. Um, here we, we started creating these sort of illuminated wonderlands and public venues for the public to take part in. And then one of the, the bread and butter of what we do is many, many corporations come to us and look to us for innovative ways of branding their products that go out to the public. And then, one of my favorite things is that the entertainment industry started coming to us, asking us to entertain their artists, their entertainers, and their clients. But through all of this, we always stayed low to the ground and stood, stood in our community, and we helped to raise awareness and money for so, so many different causes, including making a living for the artists in our local community. One of the core values of our company has been to encourage the artists to expand their limits, to take serious risks, 
to realize that if they have nothing to fall back on, they can only move forward and contribute to the world around them, to remind people again of the wonder of the natural world and to share that with them, to remind people of the individual beauty inside of each and everybody that we come into contact with, to leave a wake of inspiration behind them, and to spontaneously allow people to play and to laugh at any point in their life. That joy has been something that we've been spreading for a long time. Now I encourage each and every one of you to find your passion, to hone your skills, to make a living doing what you love and to contributing it to the world. Because I know for a fact that there is true wonder in each and every one of you. I encourage everybody to eat healthy and live honestly. <laughs> Thank you.